Hello everybody. Um, I just wanted to do another update on some of the books that we are adding to our classroom library. This one is focused on one subject, one genre, one author because the eighth grade classes are going to be doing a unit on urban legends for Halloween. So I needed to stock us up on some options for that. So I'm going to show you some of the books by the author Jan Harald Brunvand. Okay. And uh, he is one of the premier sort of researchers into the world of urban legends. And I have been following him and, and reading his stuff for years. And he's got a fun way to look at some of these crazy stories that get passed down from person to person and generation to generation. So in class we'll talk more about what an urban legend is, but let me show you what I have for you this week. Our first book is Curses Broiled Again, um, and this contains a bunch of different uh, urban legends. As you can see in the cover, it, it's uh, got the story of the lady that lays too long underneath the uh, tanning bed uh, to disastrous results shall we say okay so there's all kinds of different stories in there and uh, he explores that legend and others um, another one is the choking Doberman I won't tell you what Doberman is choking on might show you um, but this one has another collection of urban legends that have been researched and uh, compiled from around the country we have a little collection here called The Truth Never Stands in the Way of a Good Story. And uh, you see this one? It's a can of poppin' fresh biscuits right there. And so there is a legend that uh, happens with this one and some other goodies in this one. So we'll look into that later, maybe. Um, we have... A bigger one called the Encyclopedia of Urban Legends when you're doing a little looking into some of these for yourself uh, there's a lot in here that we can kind of cross-reference and uh, look more in depth into for our Urban Legends unit and my favorite one here is called Be Afraid Be Very Afraid the Book of Scary Urban Legends, and it has a uh, author blurb from R.L. Stein, the Goosebumps guy, and it says, "What a great ghoulish collection!" And if you can see the picture here, this is, of course, none other than the legend of the Hookman. So that is one of the legends that are in there, and I find these totally fascinating and hilarious and we're going to be sharing some together and we're going to be writing one so if you are at all interested in urban legends we have a lot for you to choose from and you can look at them uh, in class I'm going to ask that you remember that these books need to be treated gently some of them have not been in the last couple weeks so if you're looking at mm, the books I've provided for class, please make sure you're carefully putting them back when you are done with them. If you have any questions about any of these, come and see me in class. And again, these are all at your discretion with your parents' understanding um, and permission. I will see you in class. <laughs>